Hi, I'm Mish, Barbara Way from White Lung, and I am going to uh, answer your tough relationship and love questions. So let's get started. Um, Joanna West from Bristol asks, I've been seeing the same guy for a couple months now. At what point can I expect him to delete Tinder? Okay, well, Joanna West, you cannot expect anyone to do anything. Um, I think that if you guys are getting a little more exclusive and it's been, you know, you're not seeing anyone else, you know he's not seeing anyone else, perhaps you can have an expectation, but you have to discuss it. I think that you have to kind of say, hey, man, like you want to delete your Tinder thing and I'll delete mine. I mean, I know that's scary because you might, you're worried you might freak him out or scare him off because you know, asking for that kind of commitment, but really deleting an app takes this long. He can get it back if you break up, it's no big deal. Just ask him if you would like him to delete his Tinder. It's not a big deal. All right, next one. Uh, everything is great about my new boyfriend. He's really hot, he's funny, and we like the same stuff. But I'm worried that he's pretend clever. Like, he talks about clever things, but I'm really sure that he doesn't in any way understand them. It's annoying. How can I get him to quit pretending from Sarah? Okay. I have so many more questions for Sarah. I would like some little anecdotes about what he's pretending to be clever about. Um, it sounds to me like if you're already very annoyed by some habit that he has, whether it's pretending to be smarter than he is or, you know, recite ridiculous phrases from books that you know he hasn't even read and just keeps on his bookshelf, the chances are these things aren't going to go away. If this is already irritating you and he's your new boyfriend, I think it's just going to keep going. So maybe you should reflect back and decide if you actually want to be with someone who is pretentious and yet stupid. I don't think it's really going to go away. Next one. Dear Mish, my ex-boyfriend recently started texting me again. Loads. That's my British version. Around 17 times a day, an excessive amount. Is that a lot? I feel like I text my husband like 30 times a day, but that's back and forth. Anyways, he previously said he wasn't sure about our, our relationship because he still had a lot of issues he was working through. Okay, well, but whatever. Uh, we met up and had average to good sex. But while still in bed with me, completely unprompted, started telling me about a new girl he'd met, really liked and was seeing. Then he got really mad when I kicked him out. He has since contacted me several times to tell me he doesn't think he did anything wrong. Is everyone just a cunt? Okay, there's a few things here. The fact that he started telling you about a new girl he met and he really liked and was seeing, I don't know why he did that. That's super obnoxious. That's really weird. To me, that just bleeds some kind of insecurity where he was trying to prove to you that he's moved on and don't get any ideas because even though I fucked you right now, I'm not interested in getting back together with you. He shouldn't have been hitting you up and try, he's using you as easy bait. Oh, I can bang her. I know that she'll still come and sleep with me. So my advice to you is, yeah, not everyone's a cunt. This guy definitely kind of is, but most young men are. I'm assuming he's in his early 20s. I, don't delete his number right now. Don't answer his texts anymore. You don't have to carry on a conversation or yell at him. You've already done that. Or you don't have to explain to him why he's, what he's done is wrong. He will figure that out eventually on his own and probably the hard way. Just don't talk to this guy anymore. Why? Average to, what are you holding on to? Average to good sex? Ugh, who cares? There's a million people in the world and you're probably a hot, very lovely person from apparently East London. So fuck him. He's a cunt and yeah, don't talk to him again. Delete. Gone. All right. And the last one. The best one. Dear Mish, I fancy my girlfriend's mom. It's quite a new relationship, and her mom is single. Should I ditch her and crack on with Ma? I love this question. Okay, I have so many more follow-up questions to this. Has the mother ever given you, you know, a little eye, like giving you a hug and maybe grazed your bum with her hand or something? Like, has she ever shown some interest in you? I think it's pretty, like, have you, uh, well, and also, like, have you already slept with your girlfriend? Because then if you go straight to banging, I mean, either way, if you really like the mom and you're really into her, go for it. But 
it's going to cause a whole world of problems in this family. Let's say the mom wants to actually shack up with you and she's like down. This girl's going to hate you, um, so you're going to have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Can you deal with that kind of wrath? It's going to cause a huge rift between her and her mom. I mean, I don't even think, like, what kind of mom steals the dude that, like, uh, I don't know. This is risky business the more I kind of break it down here. I mean, if you're ballsy and you want to go for it and you're kind of sociopathic and you don't really care what people think and about destroying other people's families just to have sex with a 50-year-old hot woman, then go for it. But realize that you are going to just obliterate a lot of relationships in this family or at least cause a lot of tension. Maybe that's somewhat of a turn-on for you. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you with that, but... Yeah, you are going to leave quite the storm.